What's good guys, Nesta Restoration back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my full sneaker collection. I've been getting requests, a few requests, like messages saying, can you show your sneaker, um, your sneaker collection? And I was like, yeah, might as well, you know, I got to make a video on that soon. My 2023 sneaker collection. I got about, I think, I counted up, it was like, it was like 20 plus pairs. So you guys might have seen some in the, the title and the thumbnail. But I'm going to go through each individual shoe, tell you guys where I got them from, you know, like the story behind some shoes. Some shoes have some meaning to me, so I will never get rid of them. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Make sure you guys share it and like it. So let's go. All right, guys. So I'm going to start from the top to the bottom. So the shoes I got on top are like the shoes I don't really care about. Like, they're just like regular shoes. Like, you know, once you get to the bottom, that's where you see all the good shoes. So I'm going to start from the top and work my, work my way down. All right guys, so the first shoe we're gonna start with, we're gonna start with some weak stuff, not gonna lie. You guys might wanna skip a little bit, but some regular Vans, you know? Casual shoes, you know, like Vans, so. By the way, I'm a size seven, size seven and a half. If you guys wanna send me some shoes, my PO box will be in the description. But I do have some small feet though, like most of my friends are like a size 10, like, I don't know, it's weird, but. Regular Vans, nothing new, nothing special about them. I did get them for Christmas, but that's about it, so. Next shoe. All right, so the next shoe we got, the NMD Yeezys. NMD Yeezys. NMD Yeezys. I actually like these. These are like very like comfy. Um, I ended up hitting these on um on the confirmed app, the uh, Adidas confirmed app, like when they first came out like two years ago, something like that. But yeah, these, I mean, they're all right. They came with extra laces and stuff, but um, yeah. All right, next pair. So the next pair we got some dunks. The, what are these called? The gym, gym reds or something like that? I forgot. The gym red dunks, I think that's what they're called or something like that. But I actually liked it a lot. I ended up getting these, I think like two weeks after the release date. And my dad ended up finding these at the DTLR for retail, which was like $90 at size seven. But as you could tell, they've been worn. They've been beaten up a lot. I have to clean most of my shoes I have to clean actually. For some reason I restore kicks, but I don't restore my own kicks. Like, that's weird. But one day I'll clean them up. But they're clean so far. Like, the style, the colorway, so nice. Next shoe. We got some Yeezy 350s. These I ended up getting off a of goat. I ordered them with no box. But as you could tell, these have been through a lot. You know, I just got these like last year, like September, I would say. But I actually wanted these so bad, and I tried them on, and they were so comfortable. These are like one of my favorite, like the most com most comfortable shoe I have are these, to be honest. They need a deep clean, so eventually I'll, I'll clean these too, but these are comfortable. I suggest if you guys want some Yeezys, get 350s, or any Yeezy at all, Just it's comfortable. I just like these the best because you can wear with anything. They're stylish, you know, they'll never go out of style. I feel like some people are saying Yeezys are dead because Kanye left, I mean... I got nothing to say on that, you know, I don't really, I don't really know too much, but Kanye made a bad mistake, man. Who, who's carrying Adidas now? It's not really a shoe, but it, you do put it on your feet, so I mean, I guess it's a shoe. But the Yeezy Slides, the black, I forgot, it's like the Oxnard, I don't know the name, you know, don't, I don't know. Um, I ended up getting these at sneaker convention with my boy, Diego Kicks, shout out to Diego Kicks. Um, I ended up copying these for 180, size nine. These run small, I guess, but these are clean. Had them for like a few months already. Super clean. I love these, I'll wear these every day. All right, the next shoe we got, size seven Y. Like, I wear little kids shoes. That's embarrassing. All right, this shoe right here, I don't know why. I just, I love these so much. Like, the Cortezes. Now, a lot of people don't like these or a lot of people don't know what these are. Like, these right here, a lot of people in California wear these shoes like represent like a gang and stuff like these shoes have like a meaning behind them so i ordered a pair from goat i think i paid like 70 bucks like 70 dollars that's not bad to me these are like a like an air force one kind of i know you guys can see that little thing right there but these are just nice i'm gonna get different colorways in these so these, these are like my top five like shoes right now that i have i don't know why it's just a classic you can't go wrong with some cortezes like a lot of people don't like them like some people say these are like bowling shoes like <laughs> I don't know, but um, Cortez's, I love these. I'll never get rid of them. I need more colorways. 
But next shoe, guys. Next shoe, we got another Nike box. It is some more dunks. I actually like these too. I ended up copying these off my boy from DTLR. Um, I think I paid 150 for these a while ago. These are nice too. All my shoes are dirty. Like I have to clean them. Like these, I've been wearing these a lot too. But these are nice because it's like a mixture with a panda and like the red and just it just mixes so well to me personally. And then it comes with the little the little tag. You know what I'm saying? I'll I'll probably keep these two for a while. I don't plan on selling none of my shoes right now. But um yeah. Got these. Next pair. It was a bad idea throwing all the boxes over here because now they're all falling. Hold on, I gotta restack that. This is the classic. Everyone has a pair. If you don't have a pair of these, then what are you doing with your life? Regular Air Force Ones. These, mine are cooked, not gonna lie. These are done. I should buy a new pair. I've seen some beat up Air Force Ones. Like, I'm gonna pop up a photo. These are the ones people wear at my school. Like, bro, throw them away already, bro. Like, they're done. Like, what are you doing with your life? But, that's, that's not me, you know? I don't know if people can afford a new pair, so I'm not gonna judge them, but... I keep my stuff clean. Just a little creases, but regular Air Force Ones. If you don't got a pair, I don't know. You must be living under a rock, but next pair. Another Nike box. Oh, wow. I wonder what it is. More dunks. That's crazy. These, I don't know. Like, I, I used to wear these a lot. I like them. I ended up getting these on Christmas like two or three years ago. I don't remember. But um, I've worn them a lot, as you guys can tell. But, um, I haven't worn them in a while. They're getting a little dusty. But, um, I mean, I like them. Yellow, black. You just gotta watch out where you wear them, because, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you never know. But, um, yeah, that's that. I actually found the guy who I got it from off. His business card is right here, actually. You guys should go follow him. That's my boy. All the steals and deals. And he does videos, too. That's crazy. Next pair. Pair these are classic. I love these. Oh, my God. I barely wear them though. The Concord 11s. Ooh, so sexy. My pair is in like, actually it's in good condition, like solid condition. The only thing is like they just turn, the mesh turns yellow and it just gets annoying and dirty. I have to clean them every time. They're a little dusty, a little icy, icy soles, bottoms. But um, Concord 11s, I ended up getting these for 200 at a sneaker event like a few years back. I don't I don't remember. I've been to so many events. I get I get lost and I just lose track. But um yeah, Concord 11s. I should start wearing these more probably in the summertime. But um yeah, that's that. The last pair of Nike, well the regular Nike boxes. There's more in the back, but um these the Nike Air Maxes. I think these are called like muslin or something. These I don't know why. I just fell in love with these. I seen them on the the Nike sneakers app, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna join. I'm gonna get them for my size. Next, thing you know, boom, I hit them. These are just so clean. The suede, look at that suede, man. Come on, come on, man. These are nice though. I think I paid. These were 190, I think. Yeah, 190. Super clean. I wear them. I wear them often. But yeah, these these are sleepers, man. Yeah, y'all should get you some Air Maxes. These are comfortable too, and they make me look taller with all the air on the bottom. <laughs> All right, so the next pair we got, these are dusty. These, I only wore these like one time. The Jordan 5 Bel Airs, I think. These were my girls at the time. I don't know why, I just fell in love with Jordan 5s. The Jordan 5 Bel Airs, I wore them one time because these are actually a size 6, which I'm not a size 6, that's why they were so tight. I only wore them once, but then I never got a chance to sell them. So I just kept them in my collection. But um, let me know what you guys think of these Jordan 5 Bel Airs. They're pretty dope in my opinion. If they were like a size 7, I would have kept them. I would have wear them still, but I might sell these. So if you guys see these up for sale, you know, first come, first serve. But um, Jordan 5 Bel Airs, yeah. Interrupt this program to bring you a special report. All right, guys, so don't mean to interrupt, but I'm actually running a raffle right now on my Instagram Live. I'm about to announce the winner, so I'm going to show you guys who wins. And if I do any future raffles, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram so you can have a chance to win whatever I give away. So stay tuned for that. So here's the wheel. I have all the entries for people who join my raffle. 18 total people, which is a good amount of people to be honest. But right now I'm giving away some free movie tickets to the movie Air. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys would have seen it. As you guys can see, all you have to do is comment and tag a friend. Comment your favorite Jordans, you know what I'm saying? But um, if you guys missed out, man, just make sure you guys have your notifications on for when I do more raffles like this. And you could possibly win. 
So I'm gonna go live on Instagram, announce the winner, and I'm gonna show you guys a little process. Three, two, one. Whoever wins, wins. So let's see who's taking the tickets. And Gringo Kicks won. Congratulations, bro. See, if you guys want to join my future giveaways, just stay tuned and make sure you guys have the notifications on. So now, really, the Jordan 1s. Jordan 1 box we got right here. Let's see what we got. Ooh. The Jordan 1 Chill Blues. I think that's the name of these. Chill Blues. These, these are my grills. Not gonna lie. They shot up in price. I bought them used, though. No, they didn't look like this when I first bought them, but I did wear them. I, I buy all my shoes used, really, because I... I don't see the point of buying new shoes if you're gonna wear them. That's just my preference, but a lot of people buy their shoes used or new. It doesn't really matter. One of my like top three favorite shoes that I have right now will probably be these. But yeah, these are top three too. I ain't gonna lie. You already know what these are. Just look at the paper. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, Jordan One Lost and Founds. I recently just got these two like at the last sneaker event I went to. Sneaker culture. I was with my boy. Um, I ended up seeing these. I wanted to buy some personals. I paid two thirty for these, brand new. Actually, wore them a few times. These are nice, man. You can't go wrong with a classic OG colorway shoe. I put the white laces on. So crispy, man. I'm I'm gonna definitely wear these more. Oh, they smell so good. <laughs> that new shoe smell, but um, lost and founds. You already know. Had to cop them. All right, the next shoe we got the Jordan One. Silver toes? I was gonna say lost and found. <laughs> Jordan one silver toes. These right here, I ended up getting these for retail. I don't even remember. Or DTLR, I forgot. These smell good. <laughs> but um, these right here, I ended up wearing these to Cali when I took a trip to California and I actually ended up getting them like, they got up really scuffed on this shoe especially right here. This shoe got so many scuff marks on them and I wasn't even paying attention at the time. This was about two years ago when I took that trip. And I haven't really worn them since like that because they just look bogus. I'm not going to lie. But I love like the satin material inside. These are just so comfortable. I'm not going to lie. And I also wore these like when I graduated from my 8th grade uh, graduation. So these shoes have a lot of like meaning to me. And I'll probably never get rid of them just because of uh, all the things I did in them. So Jordan 1 Silver Toes. You already know. Another pair of Jordan 1s. Guess the Jordan 1. And the Jordan 1 mochas. Oof, y'all see the mochas, man. Stop playing. Funny story about these. I actually ended up wearing these to school and it rained and all the suede just got messed up. I tried to bring them back a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Rule number one, never get your suede shoes wet because that suede is, is done. Once it touches water, it's done. But Jordan 1 mochas, these are crispy. I don't really wear these that much. I used to last year, but... I don't know why I got a whole bunch of Supreme bags and bait bags, but hype beast alert. These, everyone's favorite style right now. I don't know why everyone's going crazy for some Jordan 4s. I got the militaries. I ended up paying two, three eighty for these. But yeah, Jordan 1 militaries. I saw these. I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy them because you can wear them with anything. And as you guys can tell, I've been wearing them a lot, like a lot, a lot. <laughs> but, um. I got the box and everything. I keep these in good condition. I wear them often. Like these are probably just like my shoes. I just wear like when I go out in general. You can't go wrong with some fours. Fours are just a classic, man. You can't go wrong with them. So next pair, we got three more pairs left of my collection. We flew by these shoes. Oh my God. The next pair, let's see what we got. Ooh, Jordan 1 um, Hyper Royals. Yeah, I think these are the Hyper Royals. Boom. I ended up hitting retail for these on the sneakers app. Fun fact, I heard that there wasn't a lot of pairs on sneakers and I ended up hitting and I was shocked. These are a seven, oh, a seven Y. Yeah, seven Y, so these fit me perfect. And I've definitely wore these a lot too. Like when I first got them, I just fell in love with them, but you can't go wrong with Jordan ones, especially these. These are so crispy and clean. I definitely need to start wearing these more. These are more of like a summer type of shoe, so Definitely when it gets hotter outside, I'm going to bust these out again. Alright, next pair we got. Two more pairs of Jordan 1s. I wonder what these are. Let me see. I'm going to guess these are... Oh, yeah, I know what these are. The Jordan 1 
I forgot the name. These, funny story on these, I ended up buying these off my friend. I bought a bag of shoes off my friend, like, I'd probably say like three, four years ago. And these were in the bag, because like, I used to resell shoes. And I saw these, and they were my size, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna keep these. And I just fell in love with them. Like, these were my favorite shoes, like, of all time. Like, I don't know why, I just fell in love with the blue. But like, now they just look pretty, like, dirty. I'm not gonna lie. I don't wear these anymore, but I just want to keep them because, like, one of the first Jordans I've ever, like, gotten like that, for real. Like, a good Jordan one. So I just kept them in my collection. I could still wear them. I might bust them out sometime, but, yeah, that's a funny story on these, how I got these. I think I got them for, like, super cheap, too. Like, this isn't even the right box. This is just a box I found laying around. I think I paid, like, 150 for, like, a whole bag. It was, like, eight pairs of shoes or, like, ten pairs of shoes in there. And I ended up keeping these. I sold all the other pairs like uh, years ago, but um, these I'll probably never get rid of these just because I just like the blue, my favorite color, and you can never go wrong with these, so yeah. All right, last pair of shoes. I already know what these are. The Jordan one, what are these, the breads? I forgot, I don't even know. Yeah, the Jordan one breads, I think that's what they call it. The reverse breads? I don't know, bro. Some, somebody please correct me. Like, I just get lost sometimes. My mind be everywhere. <laughs> but I actually ended up getting these before quarantine. I went to this little sneaker event with my cousin. I ended up seeing these. It was like a vintage shoe fest or whatever. I ended up seeing these and I fell in love with them. For some reason, I was just like, I need to cop these. It's like slightly big on me, which is why I don't wear them. Like right before like COVID even started. It was like right before, like in February. So two years I had these. And yeah, this is my last pair of shoes I got to show you guys today. And that's my full sneaker collection video. So actually, I'm going to pick out my favorite pair right now. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of my collection. Rated 1 through 10. I give my collection a solid like, I give it like a solid 7 or 8 out of 10. Like. I got a decent amount of shoes, you know what I'm saying? Keep them in a the rotation. Before I end the video, I want to tell you guys my favorite pair of shoes. So, these, I know they're my most recent pickup, but, like, these are just my most favorite pair of shoes that I have right now. Like, come on. Like, you can't tell me these aren't clean. The Lost and Founds, like, favorite pair of shoes right now. Just because I just got them recently, and I just, I love them. Like, I could wear these for, like, like two months straight, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't get tired of wearing these. Like, they're just stylish, they're comfortable, like. I just love them, but yeah, these are my most favorite pair of shoes I have right now. These are top one. My second pair of favorite shoes would probably be like the Military Fours, and then my third pair would probably be the Chill Blues. The Chill Blues. Those are my top three favorite shoes. These, the Chill Blues, and then the Jordan Four Militaries. But yeah, that's my full collection, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see any more videos in the future. And that's a wrap. So now I got to put these shoes back on my shelf. All this work by myself. <laughs> but um, thank you guys for watching. I really, truly appreciate you guys if you are still here. And if you guys made it this far, you better hide all your shoes before I rob them. And make sure you lock your doors at night. But thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to wrap this video. And see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.